common issues and resolution while working with UiPath extensions on browser. That is what we are going to see in this video. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the what and the how series of UiPath. For those of you who are looking this series for the first time, in this series I am trying to answer the queries which I receive over the channel via comments, chats, emails or via the Instagram. In the previous videos of the playlist, we have already covered all of these videos. So in case you want to have a reference, I have put the links of this playlist in the description for your reference. Today, in this video, I am going to talk about extensions. So recently, I have got a question from one of the subscriber that even though the extensions are enabled on the Chrome or the Edge, for some of the website, we are still not able to identify the selectors, which means that if the selectors are not identified, you would not be able to do the UI automation, right? So that is what the problem statement is. In this video, I am going to recreate the problem statement and then we move to the solution also. To get started with, I am on my UiPath Studio. I have got a blank sequence with no activity. Okay. On my browser, I have opened two web pages. One is the acme test.uipod.com where I have the email ID, password and a button. Okay. Next, I have is one more web page where also I can see that I have some of the text boxes and I have a button which is used to generate some of the passcode. Right. Now, if I have to do any interaction with this uh, input boxes or this button, we need to have the selectors enabled or in other words we need to have the extensions enabled on this browser right so first thing first let's say if i just simply go here and i try to use a click activity and i say indicate on screen you would notice i am getting a message which says that cannot communicate with the browser click here for more information which means that uipath is not able to identify these elements on the screen same thing goes for this web page as well right and the reason for that is i do not have the extensions installed on the edge browser which means that i need to allow uipath to spy the elements on the edge browser which means that edge needs to give a permission that is where the extensions come in picture right so it says that click here for more information let's see i just click here and you would notice that I am getting an option which says you need to install or enable the UiPath extension on the Edge Chromium, right? Do you want to install the extension now? If I say install, what would happen? It will go and install this extension, right? Now, before I go and install, I'll just hit escape. Okay. So this is one way of installing the extension. You can go here and click on install. I want to show the other way also, right? I'll just close this one. If you go back to your UiPath studio in your home, you have something which is called tools. In the tools, you have this option, which is UiPath extension. And here, as you can see that browser extensions for automating websites in edge. I'm using Microsoft Edge. So this is also the same place where you can install this extension, right? So I'll simply go here and I say install or you can do it from the first window, which I just saw. Yeah. If you want to install, you need to close all the processes of the edge. I say OK. And you say that edge browser processes are still running. Do you want to force close them? So it will close them, right? So let me quickly close both of them and I say OK. The UiPath extension for Edge was installed successfully, which means that UiPath has installed the extension on the Edge and now I can validate. Okay, so to validate, I'll again go to my Edge browser. I just reopened my Edge browser and you can see here at the top, I am getting an option 
which says that this extensions has been added to your Microsoft Edge, right? Till this point, we have only installed the extensions. We have not enabled it, right? To enable the extension, you need to go here and you need to click on this button, which says turn on the extension. And now the extension is enabled, right? In case you did not receive that pop-up also, how can you validate and enable it? That is what also I'm going to show you, right? So you simply go here on these three buttons, you have something which is called extensions right here click on the extensions you would have a button which says manage extensions click on this and it should directly redirect you to this page which is edge backslash extensions right you can also directly copy paste this url as well and it should navigate to this same window now here you can see that in the install extension you have this one uipart.web extension to disable it, you simply can come here and disable. Now again, you won't be able to do anything on the web and to enable, simply enable it, right? To remove the extension completely together, you just come here and remove this, okay? So now I go back here, I'll say, okay. And let's go back to the automation again, okay? Now here, I'll just uh, delete this activity. This was the click activity, right? I just delete it. Now this is the same page and now i have installed the uipath web automation plugin or extension right now let's see if uipath is now able to identify or not right so i drag and drop a click activity here indicate on screen and now again i am getting that same option right let me just quickly go here and i click and here this time i am getting one more message which says that cannot access the indicated browser window you cannot automate internal browser pages or the new tab right now one suggestion here whenever you have such issues right just restart the edge browser okay so i'll close this and let's open the edge browser again and let's try to indicate it now and now as you can see that my robot is able to identify the elements on the screen which it was not able to do previously and all this is happening because we have installed the extension as you can see at the top uipath is starting debugging the browser right i can just point it to some any of the button like this and you would notice that you are getting a selector now what is a selector this is the unique identification of that element in case you don't understand selectors and you are new to the selectors i have this dedicated playlist where i am explaining all the concepts of selectors the link of the playlist you will find again in the description okay now here as you can see that i am able to identify the elements on the screen and that is happening because of the extensions which is here uipart.web.automation i can see in the manage extension that it is enabled okay now this is working for this website okay which means that ideally it should work for this page as well right let's try to see that i'll go here i'll delete this activity i'll delete this activity as well and let's try to take one more activity which is a click and i say indicate on screen and now if you see here Again, in this page also, I am not able to identify the elements on the screen. Though it is a part of the edge, still I am not able to identify the elements on the screen, right? Extension is enabled. You can see UI part dot twenty twenty two dot ten. It is enabled, but still I am not able to identify the elements, right? Am I missing something? The answer is yes, right? For such scenario, I again go here and I say click here for more information. I click on it and this time uipath is telling me that we are not able to enable this extension you have to go to the extension and have to enable access to the file urls right so for some of the website where you are opening it in the form of file url uipath extension does not work and we have to explicitly set this permission okay 
now how can you explicitly set this permission that is what we are going to see next right so as you can see i'll just hit cancel here we are not able to identify these elements on the screen but we were able to identify the elements on this page right so if i again show here you can see that it is working here but it is not working on the other page to allow access on the file url you have to go to the extensions which is here this url right click on this button which says details now here you would see two options in the second option you see something which is called allow access to the file urls right so i simply go here and i tick on this one and now it should be able to identify the element for this page also let's see that in action i'll go here and i say indicate on screen again it is not able to identify so i'll just quickly restart the browser okay i'll just copy this close it close this as well whenever we do any changes it is advisable to just restart the browser okay so this is the page let's go here indicate on screen and now you can see that i am able to identify the elements on this screen as well okay so this is one of the problem which you might face whenever you are dealing with the extensions okay so if you like this feature and you understand about this functionality of file url i want you guys to comment file url in the comment box so that i understand that yes we are all clear okay i'll just hit, hit escape here okay the third problem which we might face is that let me again go to the acme url okay so this is an acme url where i can simply go and i am able to identify the elements right this is because this is open in a normal window right sometime we have to write an automation where we have to open this website in a incognito or in a private mode right so what is the incognito or a private mode you simply go here and i say new private window right so this i have opened the private window i just paste the same url here okay and now if i again go to ui path and i say indicate on screen it is again not able to identify the elements on the screen right am i missing something the answer is yes right if i click here for more information you would notice ui path is giving me a pop up which is saying that cannot indicate the window please open it in a new window or restart the browser but i do not want to open in a new window or i have already restarted right i always want to use in an incognito then it says that if using incognito mode please enable the extensions for incognito mode right it means that if you want to use this in incognito mode we have to tell the same thing to the extensions as well right so i'll hit cancel here and to fix this let's again go back to the browser go here in the extensions manage extensions you would have the ui part dot web window click on details and here you have this option which says allow in in private it says that if you select this option your browser window still may get recorded edge can't prevent the extension from saving your browser history even in the private mode right i want ui path to identify the elements in incognito or private mode so i just tick this one as well okay and again the same thing i'll just close this i'll close this we'll go again to the edge okay and in the edge browser this time i am going to use a new private window like this paste it here okay now this you can see it is in private window i'll go here indicate on screen and now you can see that i am able to identify the elements even in the incognito or the private mode right so these are the three commonly faced issues which i wanted to share and i hope it was beneficial okay let's have a quick recap now 
the first thing first whenever we want to do any operations on the edge we need to have the extensions enabled extensions are available in here manage extensions where you can see all the extensions enabled you just simply enable and disable it from here okay you can also go to uipath studio go to the home tools uipath extensions and you can install it from here as well right so for example i do not have it for chrome i can just go and install it from here as well the other thing is once you have the extension installed you might face two issues which is one with the url and other with the private window so to do that setting you simply have to go to this one which is details and inside that you have this options which says allow in private and allow access to the file url right so both of this option you can select from here so that would allow you to access the file urls and allow in the private window as well okay okay so that is pretty much i wanted to cover for this video i hope this was helpful in case you have any more question or any of the similar question on anything on uipath studio which you wanted me to cover in the series feel free to drop me a note in the comments you can write me an email as well and i should be happy to create a video on that topic as well okay having said that i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation mm -hmm.